हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आर सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर वन एक्सरसाइज वन ए वेर वी हैव लेफ्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डू राइट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव डन होमवर्क गिवन इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो नाउ योर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज सब्रैक्ट दिस फ्रॉम दिस दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी एट फ्रॉम माइनस फोर्टी टू यू आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर फ्रॉम the number from it will be taken first minus 42 minus 28 now this minus is the sign of subtraction that operation we are going to do on it getting minus 42 minus 28 now both are of same sign they'll add and as they are of same sign minus then answer will be negative now same as we will do the next part that is Right now we have to subtract minus sixty six from minus thirty four. First we have taken one is positive, other is negative. Now we are going to take both the numbers as negative. So what will we do? Minus thirty four minus this minus is of subtraction. Subtract minus sixty six is our given integer. Now you are already aware minus thirty four negative into negative. You are aware it is positive. now the two number are of different sign they will subtract and the sign of your answer will be the sign of your bigger number which is positive right now getting now next question is question number 5 subtract the sum of the question is subtract the sum of you are having right now two numbers that is minus 1032 and Eight hundred seventy-eight from minus thirty-four. As you can follow our question, what will we do? From again, we will take first from minus thirty-four because we have to subtract. So we will take the sign of minus. Now, but we have to subtract their sum. Their sum. So we will take their sum in a small bracket. That is minus thousand thirty two plus eight hundred seventy two. We will solve as we will solve simple equation which you have done in class six. Yes, minus one hundred fifty four positive. One is positive, one is negative. They will subtract. You are aware. Yes, class minus into minus. It will be plus. The next one. your answer is positive 120 is your answer look for the next question it is question number 8 the question which i am not doing you have to do as your homework because it is same as we i am doing minus 13 minus minus 27 curl bracket is over next again curl bracket Minus twenty five minus minus forty. Yes, class. You can see minus thirteen minus into minus that is plus. Again, minus into minus plus. Now twenty seven minus thirteen that is fourteen plus. Forty minus twenty-five, that is fifteen, and is equal to twenty-nine, which is your answer. Yes, class. In the next question, you are having sum of two integers. One integer is given, and you have to find the other one. You have given sum of two integers. You have already done these types of sum in standard six also. Sum of two integers. Here it is given minus sixteen. and the given integer is 53 you can see the given integer is greater than the sum it doesn't matter you can find their difference now other integer what about the other integer you can find other integer as sum minus given integer sum of two integers minus given integer sum of two integers minus given integer That is minus sixteen minus fifty three. That is equal to minus sixty nine is your answer. Our next question is 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन द डिफरेंस राइट नाउ यू हैव गिवन द डिफरेंस ऑफ टू इंटीजर लेट मी राइट द स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट राइट नाउ यू हैव द डिफरेंस ऑफ एन इंटीजर एन इंटीजर यू आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट द इंटीजर इट इज गिवन एज ए एंड माइनस सिक्स द डिफरेंस ऑफ एन इंटीजर ए एंड माइनस सिक्स इज फोर दिस इज योर स्टेटमेंट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ a right now you have to find the value of given integer a let us eliminate now a t q means according to question we are having difference of a and minus 6 this is the sign of difference is equal to 4 now a plus 6 minus into minus plus 6 is 4 you have already done transposition plus 6 will be taken in the other side as minus 6 now you will get a is equal to minus 2 this is your answer is it clear to all of you now you can look for the next question which is very 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 important because now you have to take the numbers yourself here in this question write a pair of integers you can take any pair of integers you have to think yourself a pair of integers there are different conditions in each part number 1 is whose sum is 0 you have to take a pair of integers whose sum sum of these two integers is whose sum is 0 now let us solve it you can take any two integer i want that in homework you will do the this same question by taking other than the integer i have taken consider the integers like 5 and minus 5 you can take any integers clearly you can see the sum is you can take first minus 5 or plus 5 doesn't matters 5 plus minus 5 that is 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 now second part is write a pair of integer whose sum is a negative integer now your question is pair of integer whose sum is a negative integer now you are about about negative number yes let us consider the integer you can take any two integer consider the integer right now let me take the bigger one as negative and smaller one as positive consider the integers as uh, minus 13 and 7 you can take according to your choice but take care their sum must be a negative integer because it is a condition in this part now in third part we have to find a pair of integers in which their sum will be an integer smaller than both the integers whose sum is whose sum is an integer smaller than both the integer whose sum is an integer smaller than both the integers think yourself what you can take let us take right now i am taking both the integers as negative because sum of two negative integers is again a negative integer but it will be less than them let us take minus 3 and minus 5 their sum will be minus 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 8 now you know that minus 8 is less than minus 3 minus 8 is less than minus 5 that means our condition is satisfied here an integer smaller than both the integers in next part you have to find out an integer greater than both the integers you have to take a pair of integers in which an integer sum is an integer greater than both the integers now we will consider 
द टू इंटीजर्स एज लेट अस टेक कंसीडर टू इंटीजर एज एट एंड फाइव यू कैन सी एट प्लस फाइव इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन नाउ योर थर्टीन इज ग्रेटर देन एट थर्टीन इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव now your last part is you have to find out to a pair of integer whose sum is an integer smaller than both the integers smaller than only one of the integer let us consider you can take according to your choice right now i am taking one as 5 and other as minus 3 now 5 plus minus 3 that is 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2 now you can see 2 is less than 5 2 is less than 5 but 2 is not less than minus 3 Our condition is satisfied here. An integer smaller than only one of the integer. Now we are we have finished our exercise one a class. You have to do the remaining parts as homework. Please note down your homework right now. This is your homework. You have to do all these parts as homework uh, from question number one. Subtract. you have to do all these parts neat and clean in your notebook minus 36 from 42 the next one is minus 37 from minus 53 minus 64 from 0 class i am leaving the parts which i have already done rest you have to do yourself minus 153 from minus 240 you have to do all these sums in your notebook right now if you are not having a separate notebook for each subject you can follow the one yes your next question subtract take care if you are going to not down wrong your whole sum will be wrong take care of sign subtract minus 134 from the sum of 38 and minus 87 your next question is if You are having two integers, a as minus eight. Take b as minus seven, c as six. You have to verify your associative property. You are already aware of associative property. Yes, which we have done in video one. You have to verify this property for these values of a, b, and c. You have next question as right now you are having a is minus nine, and b is minus 6 as you are already aware that commutative property doesn't holds on subtraction you have to prove it in this question that it does not equal means commutative property doesn't hold on subtraction you have to prove it by putting the values of a and b and this is your last question of today's homework the sum of two integers the sum of two integers is 65 take care you have to do all the solutions with proper statement as i have done it for you if one of them is minus 31 find that okay class now we will continue other exercise 1b in the next video